Ongoing food issues with food assistance in Nevada. We've been hearing some of you saying your EBT benefits are not coming through. State officials are blaming fraud and theft. It's left some, including this father who we heard from earlier this month, struggling to make ends meet. My fridge is empty. I have no idea what I'm feeding them. It's, I, I would, girl, man, ball my eyes out not knowing how I'm feeding my kids. As the problem lingers, Fox 5 is getting answers for you and your family. What should you do if your benefits have been disrupted? Fox 5's Mike Allen joins us live now in studio with what state officials are saying. Mike? Yeah, John, that man we just heard from told me last week his benefits card was refilled nine days after it was drained by thieves. But we've gotten calls from some of you saying you're told it will take 60 days for your fraud claims to get processed. Now, we heard from the Nevada Division of Welfare and Supportive Services, which tells us it processes these claims usually in 10 to 30 days, and it sends a memo to staff in case misinformation about the time frames is being relayed to victims who call in. Now, several others have also told Fox 5 the Cambridge Welfare Office near Maryland and Flamingo has been packed with people lately to the point where folks needing help are just lining up as the office opens, but still are being turned away because of the high volume. Now, Welfare confirmed that high volume with us and said people who cannot get through are able to conduct their SNAP benefits interviews over the phone once their application is in the system, and applicants for temporary assistance for needy families will get a flexible appointment notice for another day. You can also apply for benefits online. Now, lastly, we asked for an update to the number of claims received. 1,700 active claims right now, although we are told the team investigating has found some duplicates. They're hoping that number is, in reality, a little lower than that. Welfare says the number one thing you can do to prevent yourself from having to file one of those claims is freezing or locking your EBT card between uses. And you can do that through the EBT Edge mobile app, which is free. Now, a bit of context with the number of claims. Behind me, you'll see before April, Welfare was averaging just 200 claims per month. And in just the first 10 days of this month, 1,500 claims skyrocketing. John, back to you. Mike, thank you. And local officials say resources are available if you're struggling to feed yourself or your family. You can find them at Nevada211.org.